And how does God do all of this? Well, it's the second part of that great commandment. Yes, indeed, we are to love God with all of our hearts, with all of our souls, with all of our strength, and with all of our mind. But we are also to love our neighbors as ourselves. And so we act in ways that value each other's health and safety. We serve one another by being put on the right path that leads to compassion, kindness, and care. To be strengthened by one another. Knowing that we are in solidarity with each other and that we are not alone. And we don't let anyone experience loneliness in this time. So we praise God and worship God for what God is doing. Because what God is doing is providing us a way back to him. That's what Lent is all about. That's what this whole journey is all about. It's being put back in right standing with God. And so in this unique time, how are we put back in right standing with God? Well, we trust one another. We don't speak poorly about the whole situation or, or bring up our politics more than how we're supposed to care for our neighbors. We act like Christians should act loving our neighbors as ourselves. This might be a somber time, but the call to make a joyful noise and worship God is ever-present. For our struggling and our faith won't be in vain. God has provided us a Savior that we can put our whole trust in, God's Son, Jesus Christ. Praise God that this gift wasn't given to just a particular people at a particular time, but instead Jesus was a gift to all people in all time. And we need that Savior in this time to point us in the right way, to touch us with his healing love, and to guide us through this wilderness time. Today, when we worship, let's not see this as a time to turn off the outside world or to neglect the world, but to remember the creator of the world who sends us out to live and love that world and all who dwell in it. Our psalm today calls us to sing and make a noise. Our struggles should not keep us from joyous worship to God. So we are invited to come into God's presence with thanksgiving and to make a joyful noise, a joyful noise with songs of praise. Let us not forget to worship, even if we cannot be in our sanctuary. Let us let the sanctuary be in us and let us be sanctuary for one another. Praise God. Amen. It would be in this time of our worship service that we would uh, turn in our prayers of joy and concern and lift them aloud so that we could be in prayer for one another. Because we don't have that opportunity to do that, we have a new way of communicating our prayers. I encourage you, if you're watching this on social media or, or maybe you're watching it on YouTube but, but would like to participate, I, I ask that you go back to either social media or even send me an email and write down your prayer of joy or concern so that we can add it to our prayer list and lift those prayers together. But in this time, I'm going to invite you to take a moment in silent prayer, lifting the prayers that are on your heart this morning. Let us pray for one another in this unique time. Let us turn to the Lord and seek God's wisdom and guidance. Let us be in prayer together. O oh God, we are like the Israelites in the wilderness. We need your love and care. We pray for those who are struggling with loneliness or fear. We pray for those struggling from a lack of food and shelter, for those who struggle to pay their bills or pay for health care or medicine. We pray for those affected by shutdowns and closures. Like the Israelites, we also complain and quarrel. We struggle with finding meaning and purpose. We want answers and constant signs that you care for us. We argue, we are divided, we are in pain. God of provision, we are feeling isolated and alone. We are unsure of the future. Today, we feel the separation of worshiping apart from our church family. God, in your grace, you reach out to all of us. Your grace lifts up for us from our personal and collective wilderness. When we are at our lowest depths crying out to you, you strengthen and provide for us, Lord, our rock and our salvation. We kneel before you, Lord. Let us live reminded that in your kingdom, the last are first and the first are last, and your grace reaches us all, wherever we are. Let our prayers be a thankful and joyful noise, lifting up to you this morning. 
And so in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, may we pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. It's usually in this time of worship that we take a moment to give thanks to God for all that God has given us, and then offer what we can back to the church. I encourage you again to check out that e-newsletter that I sent out to you, and click on the links that help you uh, give while we are not in church together. Uh, you can download the Give Plus app and donate straight from your phone, or you can click the link that takes you to our webpage and, and give online. Or we encourage you to drop by the church and drop off uh, your, your giving right there in the mailbox, and we will collect it each day um, and make sure that it's uh, deposited appropriately. Let us take a moment. Let us give thanks to God for all that God has given us. I thank you for joining me in my house uh, this morning uh, to take time to worship, to read scripture, to uh, share in a message, and to be with one another, even though we can't physically be together. I do pray that this was worth your time, and we will seek ways of continuing to do worship online if that's what we need to do. Uh, we hope to actually uh, enhance this and possibly uh, do worship with our worship team in the sanctuary so we have a fuller experience of worship in, in the place that we know and we are comfortable in. I pray that uh, you can continue to be connected with your church family as well as your neighbors and your friends. For those who are healthy and young, let us find ways to serve those who are vulnerable and of need. Let us continue to be light in this world. For now, be safe, be healthy, until we meet again. God bless you, and thank you for joining me in worship this morning.